Hey rock stars, welcome back to String and Story. My name is Holly Ann Knight and it's my job to guide you to quilt and to live with confidence. Today I have just a quick demo for you about how to stitch in the ditch on the long arm. Now when we're working on our home machine or our domestic machine as it's sometimes called, it's really easy, right? You put a piecing foot or a walking foot on there and you're able to turn the quilt to take a nice straight line no matter which direction that seam is going. But on the long arm, your quilt is stationary and that big old machine can go any direction at any time. That makes it a lot harder to get a clean stitch in your ditch to secure your quilt as you're beginning your quilting process. In order to get a nice clean stitch in the ditch, I love to use a ruler and I'm going to show you today how to do that. So come with me and I'm going to introduce you to my favorite tools and then we'll get started. Now you'll see here I have my ruler foot. What makes this a little bit different than other feet you might use for free motion quilting on your long arm is that it has this nice high side to it. And the reason for that is that our long arm ruler is a quarter inch thick acrylic. Now using an acrylic ruler is important because if your needle hits it, you're not gonna get things like sparks or metal shards or anything like that. And having it nice and thick is important because being able to put it up against your foot helps prevent your needle from hitting it in the first place. Now this is my personal favorite ruler. This is Natalia Bonner from Peace and Quilt, her four in one ruler. And I love it because it fits in my hands really well and it's easy to use as I'm going along. Now, as I'm quilting here, I, you'll notice that, and it's a little, maybe a little bit hard to see from where y'all are, but my edge of my quilt, is, or of my ruler, is not actually lined up on the seam line itself. I'm slightly away from it. And in order to find that perfect spacing, I recommend actually putting your needle down in the edge of the seam you're gonna ditch stitch, and then lining your ruler up along it. Now, here I'm just using the bed of my machine. You may choose to use a big old ruler table up under there to give you more of a surface to press down. If I'm doing really intricate ruler work, I'll use something like this, but just for going in the ditch, I just use my hand to help balance the ruler. Now I have my ruler all lined up. Notice I'm making sure my fingers are nice and far away from that needle. I'm gonna fire up this machine and just take it nice and slow. It is a challenge to get those stitches right in the ditch rather than next to the ditch. You will get better with practice. In the meanwhile, don't be afraid to move slowly and to pause frequently. Fortunately, these seams that I'm working on are just about the right length for my ruler, so I don't have to move it as I go. You can see here how those stitches fall right up along the edge of my seam line, making a nice clean edge. And this will be nice as I go in and stitch the rest of this block to keep these hexagon shapes nice and crisp. Let's go and do a couple more just so you can see how this works again. Now if you jump up out of your ditch like I did just there, just use your ruler to ease yourself back in. You don't want to jump around and create a big old zigzag because that's more distracting than your stitching jumping up just a little bit. And as you practice, you may not even need to come to a full stop at these intersections, right? Now on this particular quilt, I'm gonna go all around all of these blocks before I fill in. The degree to which you choose to stitch in the ditch may vary from quilt to quilt. I don't always stitch in the ditch when I'm working on my long arm. However, it's a useful skill and it can add nice crisp edges to your work, which is a really lovely touch of professionalism. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of how to stitch in the ditch on your long arm. And if you have any questions about things that you wanna learn how to do on your long arm, please feel free to drop it in the comments and I'd love to help you out.